Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Oh, it's October 29th, and uh, boy, things are getting pretty spooky in some ways. Man, it is crazy out there. Can you not feel it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, there's going to be a lot popping out today, I think. And we, we certainly have a lot to share with you guys today. Here you go from Penguin 6. This is military and police helicopters landing at the U.S. Capitol this evening. Uh, in fact, you know, this, this was an exercise. Um, very, very interesting to see. You know, here you go. Today is Tuesday. A week from today is the big event. Well, maybe a kickoff of the big event. As it is uh, already in process, you do have the uh, election process, the s s s s uh, s election process going on. And so w this exercise uh, was known of, and a lot of people, me included, can't remember seeing this. This is from the Capitol Police. Uh, Monday, October 28th, about 7 p.m., we're going to be working with our federal partners on a routine training exercise on the grounds of the U.S. Capitol. Please do not be alarmed if you see emergency vehicles and low-lying flying helicopters. Yeah, a dozen helicopters sent in to land on the lawn to enact removing uh, key personnel in contingency of government uh, plans and procedures. Yeah, what are they expecting to happen next week exactly? Oh, wow. You know, it it's interesting. Somebody brought up Dimitri Dudeman, who had visions and saw um, this time, saw that third WW. Um, I'll dig up some of his prophecies. Um, but yeah, one of the things that he saw was that, I think he worded it, the socialists, uh, would start the civil war during uh, an election cycle at a time that it is really the beginning of the third world war so another person that saw things going in a certain line and it does feel like we're still kind of on that timeline although the timeline is always fluid so you know is this anything big well uh, everybody <laughs> Everybody I saw in the comments was saying, I've never seen this, never seen this at all. You know, 64 years old, 70 years old. Can't remember there ever being an exercise of this magnitude for contingency of government right before an election. Yeah, the, these are different times. These are just different times. People are really, really tense out there. They, they really are. And then, you know, what I was thinking, I, I don't remember the name of that movie, but um, where they did, they had to, they had an election and, you know, the building blew up and yeah. So we've had so many. We, oh, yeah. You, um, designated Survivor. De designated series. Survivor series. Yeah. That's kind of what this reminded me of. Yeah. So if you look at it from what Dimitro Dudeman said, and with the um, socialists starting the Civil War, that would make you think that 45 becomes 47, perhaps. Um, and again, that was, I believe, the wording he used. Um, I have done a few videos of, of him and his prophecies, along with other prophecies like the Washington Vision. Uh, which, again, is it really from George Washington or is it just from uh, that group that starts with an I and ends with an I telling us the, the plan? And then, of course, uh, Alloys and others. Here you go. Uh, this was taken in a hot uh, manner. Gerdusky to Hassan. I hope your beeper doesn't go off. What did he mean by that? Um you know, are these guys really getting as testy as it feels? Or is this all part of the acting? Um, well, you know, some of the politicians and some of the political analysts, as well as news personnel, are better actors than others. But this, you know, obviously what we're, we're talking about here is a, a, a divide that you, j you can't see it coming together there's no way this divide's going to be crossed 
uh, in a civil manner, and, and it's been fomented exactly for that reason. So, you know, obviously, in the U.S., people are, are very, very uptight. In fact, over here, um, you have GOP official Val Biancanelio um, placed under arrest at Delaware County PA polling po location for electioneering. And you can um, hear all, what what happens is, and the people in line say it all, because you have one guy saying, I can't believe they're arresting her, because the lines were real long and she's telling people, stay in line. Well, you know, that's viewed at, as by some as electioneering, telling people, guys, you know, the lines are long, just hang in there, stay in line, and, instead of going home, you know. And so she got arrested for that. Interesting, you know, it's it's such a deep, deep divide. It re really does remind me of the Civil War in so many ways, but the Civil War was not what we are told. Uh, as we know, the victors write the history. Indeed, they do. And sometimes this is about creating so much trauma or pointing out things for people to be angry about and ha having things become unforgivable in some way, shape, or form. And therefore, we are not able to come together because some someone said something that is so just horrible or somebody thinks somebody else did something that is just so awful. And they sit there and they feed it and they stoke the fires. Instead of pointing out people's uh, commonalities and pointing out how people can get along better and how to structure and say things so that people can come together in a more positive way for growth, this control system is very good <laughs> at breaking people up. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's very, very tense out there. There was a raid by me multiple federal agencies. And who did they raid? Well, they happened to raid the controversial Brooklyn prison holding uh, Puff Daddy and Sam Bankman Freed. Huh, isn't that curious? Uh, investigators from the Bureau of Prisons, the Justice Department's Inspector General's Office, and other law enforcement agencies descended on the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn on Monday. Law enforcement operations designed to achieve our shared goal of maintaining a safe environment for both our employees and the incarcerated individuals housed at MDC Brooklyn. They gave no specifics. Hmm. Well, there's definitely a lot of people that these two um, can affect and perhaps share things that, you know, a lot of people don't want shared. And this is the Daily Mail talking about this as well. DEA and again, who who really does the government work for is the question that's been in a lot of people's minds, I think, lately. This I found very, very curious. Um, U.S. News and World Report, they, they do surveys. These countries have the strongest militaries. Now, this is their survey, which doesn't agree with m most that I've seen. They actually put Russia number one, number one strong military, as you can see. Um, it's interesting, not just for Russia usurping the United States in the rankings, Russia one, U.S. two, Israel three, ahead of China. And this certainly raises <laughs> eyes, eh, eyebrows in people that really look closely at military and military capabilities. Israel is a tiny little nation. Population 9.76 million. Literally, it's smaller than almost all of the states in the U.S. And yet, they're ranking them number three. But, you know, the reality is, uh, as we've shared with you guys, their technology that they have available to them uh, is is higher. They're, they have more technology available to them than even the U.S. Uh, has available to it from what we've gotten from uh, our guides, which again, it shouldn't really be surprising because this is truly um, 
as close a representation of the control system, the real control system, as you can get. I think so. I agree. Okay, I thought you were going to have more than nope. just just Not that. Right this, um, this scatters me. Okay, so you know, again, what what we've gotten is that again they have technologies such as things used uh, weather, earthquakes, things that could mimic acts of of God or GODs. So ahead of China is Israel, and and then South Korea, Iran. UK all the way down at seven, Ukraine at eight, Germany and Turkey round out the top ten. This was just very very curious. This is not what we have have seen. So, you know, this was done. They said um, and the basis for this was a survey. So, you know, I don't know who they sampled. The only the only thing I really have to say about this is what I've seen um, with uh, my information that comes to me is uh, Israel has they they have certain technologies that we are not privy to they kind of keep that in their back pocket to be used as needed or you know you could say God uses these technologies as needed to make sure that Israel is uh, first and foremost Israel is very very important because all the bloodlines to God of the Bible come from Israel so it has to keep them very very safe even though they're extremely small well again uh, when you look at what's called the Gigi the lesser gods that end up being uh, the supervisors of the humans that are conscripted uh, to basically do all the hard labor this is really again a system that comes to us from Mars and it sounds crazy but when you look at Elon uh, and everything that Elon brings to the table what is he always talking about he's talking about Mars 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 and chips um, just very very uh, unusual there's there's a lot that I want to share um, this um, we have so many different videos going right now that I wanted to focus in on um, zero in on the topics because the likelihood is that they're gonna have restricted viewing capabilities on some uh, with the algorithms so you could see what he's he's talking about here and this is Elon again with, with his dark MAGA hat on you know, showing who his choice is for and what's there. Mars. 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 Always Mars. You know, when you look to Israel, Israel, if you do go to the B-I-B-L-E, what's, what's the most important nation on the planet according to the end times, quote unquote? It's Israel because, again, in so many ways, it started with Israel and it kind of ends with Israel as far as the control system that's in place. When, when you look closely, and um, I have in my mind to do a, another video on this, I will do it tying into um, the con conquistadors and what we know from some reports of the conquistadors coming here into the Americas. And then you look into uh, the Old Testament, you'll see uh, what the system does in order to pave the way um, for those that come in after it. It, it, it really does, um, just like you have air support that comes in and, and blasts out defenses and then you send in the troops. This is the same thing going on on a much bigger scale, you know, literally extraterrestrial scale. And here you go. One of the world's most mysterious weather phenomena. Meet the sprites. These are red sprites. Well, that's what they tell us. In reality, these, these are beings. These, these are literally conscious uh, entities. This is a lot of fun because it shows uh, an example of source that every, everyone can understand. This, uh, these beings as a collective... They come down as a collective or in a cloud. They separate out to have their own experiences. They have their own understanding. They have their own uh, 
you know, whatever they're going to do as individuals, they have that experience and then they come back together, back into the collective and they go back up to their platform. So this is very much how Source is so that they're all the same, yet they're individuals. So this is like a little mini clip or a little mini lesson of how Source operates right here in this photo. So if everyone could just grasp this a snapshot of source that's what we are doing we are uh, as a collective we came down source separated out we're all having our experiences and we're going to come back together we're going to go back up to our platform so it's, it's just a lot of fun i really enjoyed this picture and just processing all of it there's a big show on on earth right now and many densities or dimensions are are really watching closely and this little guy wants to show something he says come with me Come with me. He's he's not hurting her finger. He's saying, sh she's saying, where do you want me to go? Come on, come on. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. It's really cool. Come, come, take a look. Come, take a look. We're going to go upwards. And, you know, again, this is so cool that there is one consciousness. And we, and you might, and unfortunately in the Western world, People are brought up with the notion that it's a completely different consciousness that's in an animal or a bird or a fish. But the reality is it's not a necessarily a different consciousness that, that is in this little guy that is as opposed to the consciousness in this girl as he's showing him his house and what he did. Isn't he so proud? See, I, I, I keep a tidy house. And, and see, I just wanted to show you because your, your house is a little messy. You might want to tell your mom. Indeed. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's the same consciousness. It's just having a different experience in a different vehicle. What what the controllers do is they drop us in these compartmentalized boxes and it confuses humans. You know, some some humans, you know, they're brought up uh, as Muslims and some they're brought up as Christians and some maybe they're brought up as Hindus. Some grew up in tribes where they're just simply the people the people just that simple and you know again it's this compartmentalization so that some humans don't even know the other humans exist don't have have the same point of view because we're looking at it from different angles and it's all about divide and conquer it, it's about you know when you look at the bigger picture understanding that we all have um experiences traumas we all have different points of view. We're all vibrating at a different frequency and realizing that frequency in which we vibrate at is going to change your perception. So when people are moving up in frequency, they start to think in a more collective manner. They start to think uh, more together, like what is best for the collective instead of their own individual. But that's not to say that a lower frequency is bad and a high frequency is good. I really want to just take that and throw it out the window it just shows that people are having their own individual experience for a time. And then when they go higher in frequency, that individual experience becomes more of a collective understanding. It's a unique experience. It's all about learning and growth. And each one of us has our unique abilities. And this guy, he has his cute ability. He's just cuteness overload abilities. Absolutely. It's amazing. You know, nature is beautiful. Nature is wonderful. And it is a reflection of the higher densities. So we can learn so much from nature. Indeed, we can. And we want to thank you guys again for your support. Come join us over on Patreon exclusive videos uh, every week. And we'll have one going up over there next. A uh, little deep dive into some stuff. Uh, that we'll cover over there and because I know it won't make it over here. Well, at, at least on YT. As always, guys, source bless. Namaste. Namaste.